Him. I chatted with this family actually over Zoom earlier today before they learned they were allowed to go back home tonight. Their area now just in the pre evacuation state, but you could just hear that wind blowing and they tell me that's the biggest worry, even though they're allowed to go back to their house tonight. It was furious. It was coming. This was the view outside of Penny Harvey's upstairs window while she evacuated her home from the fast moving duck pond fire between Gypsum and Dotsero. And it looked like, oh, it's just a brush fire. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. And then within an hour, people are like, are you leaving? Are you evacuating? And we're like, what are you talking about? It's a long ways away. And it was in our backyard. Her daughter, Nicola Tincio, learning her mom's home was in the evacuation area on Saturday. So she drove over because she wasn't able to get a hold of her on the phone. She went back to try to water down the house for me. Like you're sitting in a just a bowl of smoke and... It was insane to just see fire that close. Harvey and her husband unsure of what they would return to. I got very emotional. I thought I was going to lose my house. I really did. With the flames being so close. Uh, my passports, because I love to travel, clothes, and the dogs. My husband grabbed his, his crossbow. The evacuation, <laughs> despite being short, brought on some changes for Easter Sunday. We cooked our uh, Easter prime rib on the grill out here at the camper storage. But they're thankful tonight for the firefighters. Because they saved my house. They literally saved my house. And remaining hopeful, Mother Nature's wind doesn't bring another round of fearful fleeing. With this wind, I mean, you can only imagine just something small flying and re-sparking some of the fire fuel here.